Welcome to the Nicholas 11X12 technology. Today we're looking at the MSI Radeon R7 260X OC 2GB GDDR5 AMD graphics card. This indeed could be the card to start gaming with if you don't want to spend more money on the R9 270X for example. Before I move on, I'd like to thank Fortica's an amazing computer store and online shop for providing me this product. Once again, we're looking at the MSI R7260X graphics card, the OC edition from MSI. This means MSI factory overclocked that card. 2GB of GDDR5 video memory is offered. On the back of the box, MSI basically gives you more information on the used components and on their MSI afterburner software. Inside the box, right on top, is the graphics card well protected in an anti-static bag. Underneath is the quick user's guide. There of course also is a driver CD included, but I'd recommend downloading the latest drivers from AMD's website in order to get the best performance out of the card. For older power supplies, MSI also includes a dual Molex to PCIe 6-pin power adapter and a DVI to VGA adapter for older monitors. And here's the card itself, the R7 260X. As you can see, MSI uses a shiny black plastic shroud that sits right on top of the aluminum heatsink. The 100mm large fan will blow air directly onto the heatsink and MSI is using their propeller blade technology when it comes to the fan, which should apparently result in 20% more airflow and in a 50% larger cooling area. On the side you can see the copper heat pipes and to power this card up you will require a single PCIe 6-pin power connector. Unfortunately, MSI doesn't use a black PCB here, like we saw it on MSI's R7-240 for example, but a dark brown PCB isn't that bad either. And in case you didn't notice it yet, the shroud is a little bit extended. I don't know why they did that, but this makes the card roughly 20cm long. This means you shouldn't have any problems fitting this card into most computer cases. Up here is a single crossfire connector for up to a two-way crossfire configuration. However, you don't necessarily have to use a bridge for that. This is a dual slot card by the way. And as for the outputs, there are two DVI outputs right here, one HDMI and one DisplayPort output. Up here are some ventilation holes. So yeah, the cooler that's used here in this MSI R7260X doesn't seem to be bad at all. When it comes down to the looks of the card, I can't complain actually. It's of course not an expensive card and therefore we simply can't expect to see a metal shroud and all that good stuff that you could expect at higher price points. I really like the fact that heat pipes are used here. However, a thing I would have done if I was MSI is use a black PCB instead of a dark brown one. Believe it or not, this actually can make a difference. However, I'd say this card actually can be considered as beautiful. But whatever, aesthetics aren't that important at this lower price point. On to the specifications. The MSI Radeon R7 260X OC graphics card offers 2GB of GDDR5 video memory and uses the Bonaire XTX GPU. The core clock is at 1175 MHz and the memory clock at 1625 MHz. The TDP would be 115 watts and the 28 nanometer architecture is used. DirectX 11.2, OpenGL 4.3, as well as the new Mantle API is supported. The bus width would be 128 bit. In GPU-Z, you can once again see all the specs. At the time of this video, I'm of course using the latest drivers, which are beta drivers for now. MSI Factory overclocked this card for you already, but you can certainly squeeze out more performance by overclocking the card by yourself even further. The cooler definitely allows that. But now, let's take a look at the benchmarking results.
so there you have it. The MSI R7 260X OC is a pretty good performing card. It's not as fast as the HD7870 or its bigger brother R9270X, but it indeed offers good performance. If we compare this 260X with AMD's previous generation cards, I'd say it's comparable with the HD7850. This R7 260X is the first real card I'd recommend to start gaming with. Of course I ran the games at very high settings for testing purposes, so I can compare it against stronger cards, but this means if you turn the settings down a little bit, you'd end up with a really good and fully playable frame rate even at the 1080p resolution. The cooler does an excellent job at keeping this card cool and the temperatures remain low even at full load. I personally also didn't really notice the fan in my system, so this indeed is a silent card. The power consumption once again, with these newer generation cards from both AMD and Nvidia is higher compared to the offered performance. The R7 260X pretty much consumes as much power as the HD7870, but still there's no need to worry. When it comes down to the looks I really like this MSI R7 260X card. Pros are good price performance ratio, good performance, the card is very silent and has low temperatures. I actually have nothing negative to say about the card and therefore I give this MSI Radeon R7 260X OC, 2GB GDDR5 graphics card an 8 out of 10 and would definitely recommend it. Once again, thanks to Fortecast for providing me this graphics card. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit nicholas11x12techx.com to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.